about to show you an MET technique for a posteriorly rotated indominate, or one side of the pelvis being posteriorly rotated. Now to identify, identify the need for this technique, you obviously need to do some orthopedic assessment. There's lots of different ways to identify this, but basically what we're looking for is a PSIS on one side that's sitting slightly lower than the other, or an ASIS that's on that side sitting slightly higher to demonstrate that we've got that posterior rotation. So we're going to assume that we've got our right innominate posteriorly rotated in this case. And from here we're going to lift this leg to create a little bit of a torque forward, so to rotate that, that innominate forward. We're starting that process. Snake the arm underneath that leg, create a bit of a lever across onto the other thigh. This arm then comes across, fingers together, and you're using the forearm and elbow of this hand to kind of brace over the top of the iliac crest on that same side. Then in that position, I'm going to lift the leg into extension and a little bit of adduction on that leg. What that does is it takes the leg along the plane of motion of the ilium. If I was to press directly down on top of the ilium here, it's going to compress against the sacrum and not get the rotational angular movement that I need from it. So we lift this leg up and across till we hit that end range. Shouldn't have any pain at this point, but probably a little bit of an end feel. And then from there, I'm going to ask my client here to push with a light contraction, bringing this leg back down and towards the table next to his other leg. Okay, I'm going to push. So with the MET, we hold that light contraction for seven to 10 seconds. At the end of that seven to 10 second period, he relaxes, lets that go. And I continue that movement up slightly into adduction while applying a downward and slightly lateral force with this arm across the innominate, which helps to correct that posterior rotation, moving it in an anterior direction. And then we repeat that technique three to five times or until we can't get any further with that range, and that's our MET.